So we are now ready to start live streaming the match. To do this, we need to add some things to the interface to be able to control or to begin and then control the stream uh, during the day. Firstly, come to here and tick show the overlay on the video display to show the overlays and watermarks that will appear. Please note that these will not be available until you have recorded the toss and created the first innings of the match. Uh, so they will not appear uh, prior to the start play mode that we are now in. Uh, the second one to add is this one here. So show the live streaming controls, which adds this bar uh, underneath the video display window. So you can see here I am set to go streaming to YouTube at 720p and I have the start live stream button available which will change to stop live stream once I am streaming. The next one uh, which is important is the show streaming overlay control which will add this to the right hand side uh, and this gives you the option to manually control uh, all of the overlays uh, and play ads and things which we will cover in detail in another video. But the important thing for now is to uh, check that this is on auto or auto with cards at the start of the match. This is necessary for instant replays on fours, sixes and wickets uh, to, uh, to play automatically uh, into the stream. So we can hide that by clicking on that uh, again. So at this point we can click start live stream which point you will get a prompt uh, to confirm that the streaming uh, of the match has been agreed to by both teams uh, and, the, and the umpires as well. And we can then click uh, the video consented button. Uh, you will then be prompted to add the stream to the match center, uh, which we will click no to at the moment, as again, we will cover this in detail uh, in another video. So we will click no now. So the stream now starts and you can see here that it has popped up in this uh, small thumbnail here uh, showing the live stream uh, output which I can hide if I do not want uh, that on during the day uh, or bring it back uh, if I need to. Uh, that's a personal preference but it can be quite useful to have this on so that for example if you are showing uh, an ad, uh, say during a drinks break or something, uh, or there is a replay in progress, then you can actually see what's going to the stream uh, as opposed to uh, the live video and video display. So that is quite useful uh, to have that open uh, so that you are aware uh, the stream may be different from the live video. You can also uh, come to view and uh, video and live streaming output. And this will open that live stream output in a much bigger window, which you could, for example, drag off to a second monitor um, so that you have a better view of actually what is going out uh, to the world rather than looking at the small view here. This live streaming control uh, also has access to the instant replay uh, and slow-mo replay functions uh, that you can click at any time to play a non-ball related uh, replay uh, into the stream. So at that point we are now streaming uh, to the world and ready for the match 